Hi Dollar Divas, welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited about today's video because I am testing some new Dollar Tree makeup. Of course I had a recent haul, if you missed that I'll have it linked down below. But I recently hauled a whole bunch of makeup from the Dollar Tree and not all of it will be used in today's video. So definitely stay tuned for another Get Ready With Me, testing out whatever other products I have. But I do have a selection today that we're gonna try out. So again, super excited and I hope you are too. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jessica and I like to do a lot of dollar store and dollar tree oriented makeup and shopping content. I also love to do like other random makeup and beauty content. So if that's your thing, you're in the right place. And from my returning dollar divas, thank you so much for coming on back. And yeah, without any more chit chat, we'll just go ahead and get into today's video. So the first item I'm going to be testing out is this new eyebrow pencil from Ioni. You guys know I love their regular eyebrow pencils. I have them both in like medium and dark brown. They're very smooth, very creamy. Their eyeliners are great. So this was a like retractable eyebrow pencil. And so I thought that was really cool. So of course you don't have to sharpen. So love that of course. And I got the shade dark brown. Okay, so we're just going to kind of go in and see how this performs. Oh yeah, it performs every bit as good as their regular pencils, I feel. Now when I swatched this in my haul video, of course when I haul makeup I always swatch everything. This, I was a little concerned this wouldn't be dark enough, but that is showing up on the brows perfect. That is very easy to control. The pencil feels really good in my hand. Oh yeah, that is... That is doing such a wonderful job. So yeah, that feels very good in my hand. I feel like I have a good result with my eyebrow. Very good, good so far. So I cleaned up my eyebrows off camera with this. This is the Be Pure Essentially Ageless Hydrating Serum Concealer. I didn't do it on camera because I've actually used this product before and we're gonna use it a little bit later to conceal. Um, I tested this out in a previous Get Ready With Me. In my opinion, it's just kind of okay. It's not the best for cleaning up my eyebrows, but honestly, that pencil did so good. So I'm not really worried about it too much. And so anything that I've used before, like in a previous Get Ready With Me, I will not show on camera and I will link the video down below. So if you want to see some of the other products that I've already tested, definitely go check out one of my other videos. So next we're gonna do foundation. I do have a new foundation. This is the Be Pure Clean Beauty Glow Foundation. I got the shade Nude. And so we're just gonna go in and see how this does. I'll kind of start on one side of my face first. Honestly, the way it swatched in my hand, I didn't have the highest hopes. Now, they have another foundation that I've tested along with that concealer, the Essentially Ageless line from Be Pure. Again, that's in the same video as the concealer that I'll have linked down below, but I remember liking it. I remember it being really, really nice. That's actually really nice. You know, generally, like, luckily, I'm, I, I have decent skin and I don't generally need a whole ton of coverage. Sometimes I really like a lot of coverage, but I think the coverage of it is really actually very nice, at least for what I need. Now, if you need a lot more coverage, you may not like this, but it's probably a little bit buildable. Let's see, I'll try to build it up just a little bit more. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty buildable. It might not be the most full coverage, you know, that you're looking for, but if you like a buildable, I would say this is probably like a good buildable medium coverage. And of course, I love anything glowy. You know me, I love my sparkle. My eyes have just been looking tired lately and I'm not tired, but I'm looking it these days. That has a beautiful, beautiful finish. That is really, really, really nice. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't, like I said, I didn't really know what to expect. So again, another, so yeah, so far, another really great product from Be Pure. Like I said, it's definitely comment down below if you've tried this and like it, if it works for your skin, definitely let me know. Okay, so off camera, I applied concealer under my eyes and some other areas. I applied my setting powder and some mascara. I will have everything linked down below. And again, that video where I've tested these products in past videos. So now moving on, of course, we're gonna do the eyes. So I just got my little makeup case. I totally forgot to use the primer. I will definitely use that in my next video, I promise, along with the foundation again. So I've got some new eye products. The first is I have this eyeshadow palette. This is the Make Me Up eyeshadow palette. This is from that Le Mercier brand. And I think I have another one of these. I'm gonna have to check my collection. Um, I did haul one, uh, Dollar D remind me, I did haul one in probably my last haul several months ago. I have to try to find it. Some of my makeup has been kind of, it's been a little bit of a mess. 
because um, <laughs> I haven't been filming. So I will try to find that. But um, we will go ahead and use this palette today. I'm gonna try to use as many colors as I can. So I'm gonna go into the lightest shade right here and just kind of put that all over my lid. These seemed very creamy when I swatched them in my haul video. They seem very pigmented, very creamy. And this isn't gonna do much. It's just gonna lay kind of a base down for the rest of our eyeshadow. So now I wanna put this shade right here. And you'll have to freak my nails. They're just terrible. Y'all know. Y'all know me, though. My nails just, I finally trimmed them. My cuticles are horrible. It's just, I've been meaning to do my little gel nail polish and all that stuff, but I just have not gotten around to it. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of put this up to my crease and into my crease. And one thing I have started getting for like the last year is um, professional pedicures. That's something I really didn't do very much. And I've been doing it now about a year. And I do it really mainly. That's really nice. That's really deepening up the look. And it's, again, going on really smooth. But yeah, I started getting them this year. Not even, I mean, of course, you know, they, they look pretty, you know. Um, but I started getting really, because they just make my feet feel good. So that's been something I've started doing. Then they're like, you do your nails? I'm like, no. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've been enjoying pedicures. So my feet look way better than my hands, which is sad, but that's just the reality. I am loving this. This is going on really, really, really nice. Yeah, that's that's deepened up the look. I'm very, very, very pleased. And I, what I love about this palette is you have a dark shade, kind of a less than dark, a little bit of a brighter shade. Then you've got these two neutrals right here. It's a very well-rounded quad. I look for that. I like there to be like a light shade, a good deep shade, and then a couple things in between. Like a little bit of that variation, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go into this shade right here and just kind of put that a little bit, you know, kind of really concentrated a little bit more into the crease. And then we're gonna use that other, that darkest shade to kind of create like a smoky type of eye. There's no fallout. Of course, I'm trying to be really diligent and tapping off my brush. Cause normally I don't do foundation first. I'm just so unpracticed on how I do my makeup. It's just been a little while. Like I said, for the last several months in work, I hadn't even really been wearing eyeshadow. I've been using liquid eyeshadow, but not powdered. But still, even at that, I still would do my can't really remember. I might have gotten back in the habit of putting my foundation on first, like I used to do. Whereas when I do eyeshadow, normally I, I started to get to where I would just do my eyes first for any of the fallout. These are performing even better than I thought. Like I knew they seemed creamy and nice, but that swatches are one thing and putting them on your eyes are another thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go into that last shade right there. And um, then we're gonna add some liquid shadow. And then we're gonna add, I have a, another, you remember from my haul, I had like a, kind of a highlighting stick that we're gonna give a try. Okay, there's a little bit of fallout, that's my fault. Um, I don't have a lot of um, faith in the, the stick highlighter for my Oni, but we're gonna definitely test it because that's what we do. I can just kind of blend that in. That's really nice. That is absolutely beautiful. All four shades performed really, 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 really well. I'm gonna just blend it out a little bit more. That is really, really, really great. All right, onward and upward. I'm gonna do some liquid shadow. I'm gonna do some liquid shadow. Um, so we're just gonna go into that other shade. I don't know if this shade here is gonna be quite right. I don't know if I really wanna use this shade. Um, this is the one I used in my last chatty get ready with me. This is Greek Goddess. So it's a little bit like less pink. And the one that I haven't tried is a little bit more pink. This is the one I've been wearing in work. It's a little bit more of a gold. This is in the shade Toasty. And honestly, I think I might go with that today for the look. And y'all haven't seen this shade yet, so I'll just go ahead and show it. These are really, really great liquid eyeshadows. These I find actually be better than the old school ones that they sell. Like, the, I, and I've got several of them. Um, I like these a little bit better. These, I like the colors. And we're just gonna kinda do what we, what I normally do. Just kinda go on the inner part of my eye. And kinda just blend it a little bit. See, that just goes on there super smooth, very pigmented. They are, I mean, they are like a high end, like a Stilla. Except when they dry out in like two months, you won't have wasted like nearly $30. <laughs> I actually need to go with a little bit of a lighter hand. This shade in particular is really like popping. Like, look at that, you guys. Like, seriously, that is Dollar Tree powder and liquid eyeshadow. Like, it's amazing, always amazes me. So now I'm gonna use that Ioni, um, they call it the Fat Chubby Stick. It's like this chubby kind of pencil, 
And versus being more of like a like an eye crayon, it's a little bit more like an actual pencil. So I don't really know how blendable this is gonna be, but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of highlight up here in my brow bone. And I might try sharpening it just a little bit more. Sometimes you have to kind of get that dry outer layer off of a pencil. I mean, it's, it's just okay, I feel. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I kind of feel, I don't know. Honestly, I don't think it's doing a whole, whole lot. Let's try it in our waterline. I feel like in my monitor, it's making a little bit of a bigger difference than in person. This does not perform like their eyebrow pencils or their eyeliners. So far, I don't think this really did a whole lot, honestly. It's not really, it didn't do anything bad, but I don't really think it did anything great. I just don't think it really did anything. So next, I have just, you know, I love the Ioni 2-in-1 Lash Glue and Liner, and they just had a regular felt tip eyeliner pen. So that is what I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna try it out today. And so I really was very impressed in when I swatched it. So hopefully I am still just as impressed. I'm gonna need to get a little closer. I'm just having like a hard time these days. Just, I guess, you know. It's a very sturdy felt pen. It doesn't have like a lot of give to it, which I don't know that that's not a good thing. It's definitely going on very nice. I feel like I made a good line. Okay, let's get the other eye. I really, really like that. That's a great, I think my eyes are about even. <laughs> yeah, that's a great, as per usual with their eye pencils. Yeah, that seems to have done the job quite nicely. So now I'm a little, little nervous. Um, I've got, I hauled these at Dollar Tree. They're the Ardell Magnetic Mega Hold. So they're magnetic. Um, they are the Demi Wispies style. And so I'm gonna give these a try. I've never, you know, I've tried magnetic lashes once and don't feel I had a ton. It kind of went okay in the video, but I found that I never really reached for them. So apparently on the back, they talk about the, the traditional magnetic lashes. These are the ones I have experience with. They have the, the four magnets on them, which is hard because I think in that video I had a hard time trimming them because you, the magnet's in the way. These have an invisible magnetic band which is what I thought with the, how they were stored because they have the magnets in the back holding them on there, which I thought was very interesting. And you just keep those there, that way you can store your lashes. So I'm probably gonna have to trim these. Um, usually Ardell's are pretty good. I don't think I am, I think I'm just gonna let it, let it go. So this is the little tube of glue they give. It's kind of honestly, kind of like the cheap glue that you get, like the little two pack of LA Colors. It says to put the glue along the upper lash line. So we will see how this goes. I'm definitely gonna need a small mirror to see this. I wish the little applicator was better. I don't like that it's like this plastic applicator, but I'm assuming there's probably a reason behind that madness. And I may not have put enough. Oh, it's a mess. Oh, this is something I don't like. I don't like black eyelash glue, unless it's like a felt tip pen, because I tend, look at that, I tend to make a royal mess. I think I need to put more on. So far, like I said, I do not like this applicator. It's getting on my lashes, and then my lashes are getting, are transferring it underneath. I feel like the lash band is just a little thick, and that always makes it hard. I'm gonna kind of clean up some of this mess right here. One thing I will say, okay, like before I even like put the other one on, which I think I will just do off camera, um, there's really no benefit to this like magnetic business when you're using this like wet glue. I don't know. I just, I don't really quite see a point in this. But it's fine. Like I said, they're fine. It's just, I'm not, I also like to kind of push my lashes up and I feel like I can't really do that. I mean, which is probably better. Like it, it's probably a little bit more of a natural look, honestly. I like my lashes to be a little bit more like, I'll put, I'm gonna put on the other lash um, in private. Okay, I'm back. Um, I will share my thoughts, but um, I'm not impressed. <laughs> but I've got, I've got more thoughts that I will share at the end. I just hope I look like they're semi on there straight. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put, there's a couple of items that I hauled last year sometimes that I have not used. Um, not just on camera, but just haven't used them. Um, a couple of, they're Rimmel products. I got the Rimmel 
London jelly bronzer. So it comes in this little like pot. And so I figured we would test this. I also have the highlighter. Um, I'm a little bit nervous of this, but that's what we do. We try things. And so it comes, it's like a liquid. And so I'm just gonna kinda, I don't even know how I'm gonna proceed. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use a damp, my blender sponge. Cause I think I'm gonna use my stippling brush for the highlighter. I think I've swatched this and it's really not, um, not shimmery, not as shimmery as it seems. So we're gonna just dive in. See, I've got it kind of on my blender. I'm gonna kind of start light. I was talking to a Dollar Diva a little bit last week and she was talking about being older and liking um, cream products, like cream blushes for her skin. And, um, and yeah, I'm starting to like cream products too. They are dewier, you know, kind of for anybody, but especially like more mature skin where you tend to get a little drier and you don't want things to sink into places, you know, and cream products can be really good for that. But they are great for like a dewy look too and they just look a little bit more moisturizing than powders and stuff. Honestly, that is not as scary as I thought. So you just have to kind of go a little, a little bit of caution, you know, and just go slow. I'm gonna put just the little extra just under my jawline here. That way I don't waste it. Very easy to blend. I think that is actually a really, that's a really nice product. Look at that, very smooth. It has a nice color. It's not orangey at all. That's actually like the perfect tan color. And my skin is really about as light as it can be right now. So yeah, so it's kind of like, see the product? I like it, I am a fan. I, like I said, I just went very, very careful because I don't want to look crazy. I try not to look crazy. I don't always succeed, but, but yeah, very nice, very pleased. So I have a highlighter, but we're gonna go to blush first. This was from my haul, the Ioni Blush. This is in pink gold. It looks really pretty, so I'm really excited. Ioni makes great blushes. Just very much like high end. I mean, really nice blushes. Um, I had a Dollar Diva say that they're kind of remind her of like benefit blushes. So I'm just gonna kind of go easy. I don't wanna, again, don't wanna look crazy. So this is gonna have a little bit of a gold shimmer to it, which is beautiful. So you just a very, I went with a very, very light hand. This brush, um, the Wet n Wild brushes, it had like a pink cast on it, so not all of that is blush. But look at that, that is stunning. I feel very glowy, of course. The Ioni blushes never disappoint. So now we're gonna go to the highlighter. Same thing, this is in um, Poppin' Bottles. This is the Jelly Highlighter. Again, this is in Poppin' Bottles, and this is the Jelly Highlighter. Look at that, it's all settled to one side. So I think I'm gonna use my stippling brush for this. I'm just gonna kinda take some. And it is like a jelly, it really is. I'm just gonna kinda swirl it in my cap a little bit and kinda proceed again with caution. I might end up using my, um, end up using my blender again kind of blend it out. Oh no, oh no. I'm gonna have to really put a little pressure into it. I don't know, maybe stippling brush wasn't the best. I'm gonna kind of dot it on my counter. I went a little bit overboard. This is not as easy to use as the bronzer was, but we can always fix it. It's funny because I would have felt a little bit more comfortable with a cream highlighter than a cream bronzer. I feel like this is just not very, um, it doesn't blend very easily. I'm gonna kinda use my powder brush to just kinda mute it down just a little bit. I mean, it's nice. I don't like it as much as the bronzer, just a little, I felt like it was a little harder to blend, but ended up doing a nice result. So as long as it ends well, sometimes I'm good. So the last product is, I've got three different lip products. So this right here, I bought this several months ago and forgot about it. It's another one of the Ioni lip plumping glosses. This is in Rio de Janeiro, and it's like a red lip plumper gloss. It's got the red hot, the hot alert on the bottom. So I may try all three of these lip colors today because I've got so much lip stuff and I don't ever get to, um, I don't ever get to test it all enough for you. And then this is in Pink Glow. This was from my haul the other day. And then I also got this Shea Butter Stick in Sparkle Red. So I think I might test all three. We'll go ahead and start with the Pink Glow because this is what I'm like most excited to try from my haul the other day. That has a lot of pigment in it. I'll see if they got hot too and let you know. That's a very pigmented gloss. Very creamy. So far, I don't feel the tingle. I'll give it like another minute. But it looks really, really, really great on the lips. Like, that's really a pretty shade. I don't really feel a tingle as of yet. So these for me were like the superstars of this video and there are quite a few. 
First of all, the foundation. I think I liked this better than the Essentially Ageless for my skin. I'm surprised at how much it covered. It was buildable, I could add more. Um, it could be sheer, it could be, I feel like I got like a good medium coverage. It looks wonderful on my skin, it feels good, it's luminous. I am in love with this. This shade is perfect for me. When, at the Dollar Tree, I saw a darker shade, and I don't know if there's more shades. That's always the thing at the Dollar Tree with shades, unless you come upon like a random like brand name that they bring in and they've got darker shades. They're just not as good, you know, in any of the extremes, or even for most of what's in the middle, <laughs> if we're being honest. But this for me is amazing. I really wanna go and get more of these and stock up, because I think the way this looks on my skin, I think when I'm tanned, the darker shade that I saw might be really good. I can't sing the praises at how I feel my skin looks with this foundation. Love this, a wonderful product from Be Pure. The eyebrow pencil, so I've, oh, you know, I love the other Ioni pencils, but I think this is my favorite now because A, it's retractable, and then B, I like that, I like the way it felt in my hand. It just made my eyebrows a cinch and the color, the dark brown for me right now is great. Um, medium brown they have as well. Of course, they don't, you know, Lack in colors there as well, but yeah, this is amazing. Love this. Again, I want to stuck up on this as well. Of course, no surprise, these are always amazing. The Ioni blush, little goes a long way. They're pigmented, they're cute, their colors are always really nice. Um, Dollar Diva said that these remind her of like benefit blushes, and absolutely right. They're very, very, very comparable for a fraction of the price. And you know, and who needs a big container of blush? It's nice to have something that's just kind of small, you know, and you can try different colors and just not feel like you're breaking the bank on almost $30 a blush. And so yeah, Ioni blushes, this is no surprise, they never disappoint. And I even went with a light hand so I don't look foolish, so I've learned over the years. Then the eyeshadow palette. So yeah, I really wanna find the other shade that I hauled a while back. Um, if not, I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for more shades, because this, I loved the color, that the variety of the colors. Um, you know, the, the dark and the light and the in-between and $1.25, they went on so nice. Like this, like seriously, like $1.25, like really great. This brand really showed out. Then of course, LA Colors new liquid eyeshadows. They have a couple more shades than these. I just picked the lighter ones because this is the kind of stuff that I love on my eyes to highlight like a smoky eye. Of course, I use this this golder shade, like this gold shade I've been using, and I will test this other shade just for fun in a future video. These are amazing. They're they're so much better than the other LA Colors liquid shadows that they they've had forever. These I've worn, I have worn these for hours on end. They don't crack, they don't flake. This one here I've had open for a couple months, and it has not even come close to drying out yet. Unlike the Stilla liquid shadows, which are beautiful, but they do dry out pretty quick. And these are again a fraction of the price. Highly, highly recommend if you want liquid shadows. LA Colors really, really brought it. And then very surprising, and again, this is not something you can probably find anymore, but I would actually pay probably full price for this, was the Rimmel, the Jelly Bronzer. I thought it was gonna be scarier, especially being as dark as it is and my skin being as pale. Very easy to work with. I think it's like the perfect bronze for my skin right now. I would, I'm gonna actually look up and see if they still make this, because I, I would actually pay full price. And I would also like darker colors for when my skin's more tan. That surprised me, I was really afraid. <laughs> and then things that were really, really good was the Ioni Felt Tip Eyeliner Pen. Really strong, like I got a really easy line, very pigmented, really nice. The only reason why it's not like a standout is because why use this when you can use the one that has the glue as well and then put your eyelashes on? But if you don't mess with lashes and you just want a regular felt tip eyeliner pen, this one right here, you do not need to pay any more than $1.25. Really excellent, excellent product. And I think even if you're a beginner, this would make it easy for you to start practicing your liquid liner, which is scary. And then the lip plumpers. I was very surprised, this is one I hauled several months ago, I was very surprised that I liked this shade better than this shade, but they are both great. They ended up making my lips tingle, um, and at the end, it just took a little while. It didn't start tingling until I wiped this one off, and then I started feeling the tingle, so they do have tingle. I don't think they're gonna be a groundbreaking thing and make you look like you had filler or anything like that, but they are nice lip glosses no matter what. Like I said, I really loved them both, but this shade here was my absolute favorite. And this one here was way, this one was less pigmented than I thought, and this one was a lot more pigmented. Almost more like a, um, not as much like a lip gloss, but more as like a lip 
lipstick, like a creamy kind of glossy lipstick. So yeah, very excellent products, smooth and creamy. Then this one right here is what I'm wearing right now. It's a great product. My lips feel very moisturized. They have a nice little like stain to them and you can build it up a little bit. But for me, this wasn't like, it's not like my favorite type of product to wear, but that's me. It is a great product and it just depends. This was just a matter of taste for me, but still a lovely product. And I would probably like a color that's not as bright. Like I would probably like something that's a little bit more like a light pink or something that has a little less color because it does feel really great on my lips like almost like a cha like almost like a chapstick I would wear this as like a chapstick and then these three products here were not so great um, this and I kind of felt this the fat chubby stick highlighter it just didn't really do anything um, it's just not as creamy as their pencils I wish it was more of like a crayon I don't know it was just very disappointing and generally Ioni is so amazing in the pencil world but this here doesn't really do anything in my opinion so that was that's a pass for me also the jelly highlighter um it ended up okay and um but i just i had a little bit higher hopes once the bronzer performed so well this just kind of sat i was afraid i wasn't gonna be able to blend it and i don't know i have other if you have not found it this at the dollar tree do not be upset there's stuff at the Dollar Tree right now that perform better, like LA Colors. Any of their highlighters are gonna be better than this. Um, yeah, this is a hard pass for me, even at $1.25, honestly. So yeah, that was, it's not one of my favorite things. And then the, then probably one of the worst is the Ardell, the Magnetic Lashes. Of course, it's always exciting to find something like this in the Dollar Tree. I just don't feel that there's a benefit. It came with this little glue, magnetic glue, which has a plastic applicator and it's really hard to control where the glue is. I made a mess. I don't like a black glue anyway, but I know a magnetic glue probably has to be black. Just, but... I don't really see the point in having it. I, I might as well just use glue and lashes. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially if you're a beginner. I, I like the felt tip pen. You don't even have to let the glue, glue dry. The the you know two in one lash glue liner. You just you put it on like liquid liner and you just put your lash on. Very nice. Or you just learn to do regular glue. Let it get tacky and then put your lashes on. This here was just like using regular glue and lashes. I did like that the magnets, it didn't have like little individual magnets, so you could trim your lashes easily or, and I like the idea of the, the band being all magnetic, but it honestly I think made the lashes a little harder to put on because the band was kind of thick. So these are a hard pass for me, even at $1.25, you're better off just getting Ioni's or the LA Colors lashes and using glue, you know what I'm saying? So um, I had a little bit higher expectation, but still, I, you know, I, I'm pretty well rehearsed in putting on lashes. So yeah, these are a pass for me, for sure. So if you can't find some of this good stuff, don't, it's not always a loss. Dollar Tree carries great stuff just most of the time, just in their usual stuff. So sometimes these brand names or some of these things that are exciting, they can be hit or miss. It just really depends. Anyways, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Definitely share with all your friends that enjoy saving money and looking great and enjoy makeup and all that good stuff. And of course, stay tuned for another video where I still have a primer and a setting spray that I meant to use in this video and forgot. I've got some other lip products. I've got other stuff from that haul that will be used in another video super soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.